in four styles. I'm going to approach it uh, first with a realistic style and then with a more uh, macho masculine style uh, similar to like 300 years of war and then a more uh, kind of eastern some semi-anime style kind of like Final Fantasy or something and then lastly a more a much more stylized uh, cartoony style. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to illustrate the same character throughout each uh, each style. Um, there's no character design yet so I, I have some leeway there. Uh, maybe we'll keep it to like a like an anti-hero, like a fan, like maybe in a fantasy setting or something, with like you know, like armor and uh, semi-medieval fantasy. So uh, it'll be kind of a darker hero, um, not like a knight character, but maybe like a, a dark knight or a, uh, some kind of uh, wandering warrior adventure character. So. We'll take that kind of character archetype and uh, approach it in four very distinctly different styles and see what we get. You can do concepts in both line or, or value. Uh, I tend to do value concepts just because I like to explore the forms of uh, my concept. Um, but it, it works either way. Like If you're more comfortable doing line concepts, that, that works well too. I don't think one or the other is really faster. Uh, I'm, I just have to be faster in value than I am in line. Again, I'm just fleshing out the face again to show a little bit of character. Try to keep them pretty realistic. Make them a little more rugged looking. And you see I kept the little waist sash from the first character just to kind of tie it in. This character is looking way different than the other one, but still when you think about it, he's still a possible hero, anti-hero uh, character, definitely a warrior, definitely not a knight or anything like that. So he still kind of fits the theme I'm going for. The last one was more of a masculine stylized character. This one will take more feminine traits. It doesn't mean it's going to be like a feminine character, but uh, it's not going to rely so much on all the testosterone elements. So this style, I'll, I'll go more of like a Japanese, uh, like semi semi anime, you know, like Final Fantasy or similar styles to that, where it's, it's stylized, but it's not like you know super super anime proportions or anything. More more realistic, but still stylized. So what's common in this uh, is uh, the hair. It's nothing to do with the character really. Uh, everyone has really nice hair and lots of fashionable clothes. The armor doesn't have to make sense. Uh, it's all about fashion, really. All right, so for the final style I'm gonna explore, I'm gonna go for a much more stylized, uh, cartoony style. Uh, this used to be really popular in, in video games, uh, especially back when you know, early early 3D video games and, and 2D video games. Well, probably because they didn't have a choice. You know, you couldn't really make super realistic characters in, for you know, PlayStation One or anything, or Super Nintendo. So people would go for a more cartoony look, which is fine. Um, I actually like it. Um, it's less popular in video games now, but still pops up every now and then. Adding some grime to these characters over here. Don't want them to look too clean. Got like a little textured brush on another overlay layer. And they can add texture to it. So that's a quick look at how I explore different styles. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully you're able to learn something.